I don't think we're doing good at all. Um, this is a direct attack on our community. What was designed to be a day of joy turning to fear and panic. And now we're learning what was originally reported as a suspicious package had coloring books in it. Thank you for joining us at 6. I'm Jasmine Brooks. I'm Joel D. Smith. So Lancaster police now say they are investigating specific threats that were also made to the lives of three people. But we've just received some new information as well about that bomb threat. Police say that suspicious package at the library was alerted by a canine and it was supposed to be there. It was sent to the library and had USDA coloring books. However, tonight, some members of the community are still on edge. CBS 21's Elise Person joins us live in Lancaster with the impact. Jasmine, well, Lancaster Pride tells me that what happened behind me here on Saturday, it wasn't only a direct attack on the queer community, but also the city of Lancaster as an entirety. And the president of Lancaster Pride tells me she's looking at one local leader to blame. I'm going to put direct blame on Commissioner Parsons. He tweeted about it and his unhappiness about it, and that's what started this. President of Lancaster Pride Tiffany Shirley is referencing this March 7th tweet by Lancaster County Commissioner Josh Parsons. She called it a dangerous tweet, placing the LGBTQ plus community in a vulnerable spot. There was 13 families signed up before he tweeted about it, and then after he tweeted about it, there was over 700 people registered. Now, mind you, 90% of them were fake registrations with hateful, terrible comments next to the registration. At the March 20th County Commissioner's meeting, three days before the bomb threat, Parsons spoke about the Drag Queen Story Hour. It's a public venue. This is not an age-appropriate event, whether it's gay, straight, anything else, adult performer, it's not age-appropriate. But Parsons wasn't alone in his feelings. Kids that are being uh, exposed to a person who does adult-themed performances it's not appropriate. Parsons took to Twitter after the bomb threat saying, quote, regardless of whether they actually oppose the drag queen story hour or they support it and are seeking to create outrage against those who oppose it, the consequences should be the same and extremely serious. Threats of violence have no place in our debates. And in a statement from Commissioner Ray Diagostino, he says the threats are, quote, deeply distressing and have no place in our community. One local counselor says these type of threats can have lasting consequences for a community. It really does impact someone's um, anxiety long term and their safety. Such attacks such as bomb threats or any type of threat is going to not only impact the individual, but their community and allies. Now, I called Commissioner Parsons and left him a voicemail asking for his response to Lancaster Pride, blaming him for the bomb threat that happened here on Saturday. I have not heard back. And Lancaster Pride tells me they haven't even begun discussions to see if they even want to reschedule the story hour. But one thing that I'm told, if you're someone who is having anxiety after this bomb threat, you can call the hotline 988 if you're in need of some services. But for now, I'll send it back to you in the studio.